Hello, hello everybody. Stephanie here, aka Wolfpack. I hope everybody is having a great day. I hope everybody is being safe. The Mother Nature is out with a fierce today. Um, not sure what she's doing, but she's definitely um she's definitely having fun with us, I think. <laughs> um, I know there's a part, I think it's the East Coast that didn't have power for a while. Um, as far as I know, a friend of mine did get power. She just didn't have internet yet. Um, but like I said, I'd rather have power than internet any day because at least then you have heat. Hi. Are you saying hi too? Hmm? Eli says hi. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's been a little cold the last couple of days. It's been like negative... Well, it's been like negative nine or negative seven, but it feels like negative in the 30s because the wind has just been whipping. Um, hi, Joe. Hi, Robert. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Sherry. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, there's two Sherry's. Okay, so that's a different Sherry. <laughs> All right, then. Oh boy, Mother Nature is about to, no, is about to let go a bomb. Just some warning, flood warning, lightning warning, and wind warning. Oh boy. Hi, Silver. Hi, Catherine. Hand pink waving. Ooh. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Bonnie. I think my, Mother Nature is pretty much letting a bomb explode as a way to put us put it no as one way to put it got a wind warning and flood warning and oh you too okay wow yeah it's cold hi cheryl hi nana she got back about an hour oh she did okay good at least she got internet now too thank you crystal for letting me know but yes hello 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 well eli was just here so not sure where he, maybe he had to go potty. <laughs> he just drank some water, so I don't know. But anyway, as you can tell, I have switched another diamond painting. Um, Just because I looked at the calendar. And when I unboxed this kit yesterday, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. And I'm like, dang, <laughs> um, I better get this started right away. <laughs> so yes, as you can see, if you have not watched my unboxing video of it, I just unboxed it yesterday. Um, but look at this beautiful beautiful painting oh my gosh it's absolutely gorgeous um and it's without even it's without drills i don't even have any drills on it yet and it's still gorgeous so yes i'm like 100 percent sure my mother is absolutely gonna love this um me i don't mind butterflies i think butterflies are gorgeous as well but what gets me is all the flowers <laughs> i just love flowers and if you have not watched my channel or new to my channel yes I love flowers as well. Um, there's a lot of things I love, but yes, flowers is up there. Uh, so yes, especially pink roses or pink flowers, anything pink really. But yes, um, I just, I, it's, it's a big painting. Um, I was not expecting it to be this big. Oh, what size is it? Where's it? Oh, it's all the way over there. Um, it is a 74 by 56. So like I said, I started having a panic moment. I'm like, oh, I got to get this kit going. <laughs> so yes. But I hope everybody is working on something, doing some kind of craft related. Or if you, like me, can't do three things at once. So um, I've gotten better about the lurking in, in chat rooms. Um, but I'm still not the greatest at it. Okay, this is a round, so I'm going to need square tweezers. Not... Oh, there they are. Square teasers. Oop, and you guys can't even see what I'm doing. You did watch the video video. Thank you, Silver. Hi, Allison. I have that one in my sma st st smash. I have that one in my stash. It reminds me of my mom. She loves butterflies and flowers. Perfect, right? Um, I think I'm going to start at the left corner and work my way down this way just because I am right-handed. Uh, then that way, when I put my hand down, I'm hitting the drills, not the glue. Uh, but that's how I think about it. 
everybody else has their own version, which is, you know, awesome. But of course, I do like to put some release papers to hide the glue. So, you know, because we all know Eli likes to come and surprise me every once in a while. And that way he doesn't get my can well, we already know the canvas will get somewhat of cat prints on here because our cat hair. Because he just can't help himself. Hi, Sapphire's mama. It's half past 12 at night, so not crafting. Ah, well, ready to go to bed? Hi, Linda, how are you? Amazon is sold out on the Elizabeth Ward stores tray systems. Oh, perfect. Just as I wanted another one. <laughs> I am working on the Tinker Fairy by Mandy Manzano. Nice, Catherine. Hi, Lucky Lass. Hi, Midnight. Hi, Remington. Allison, it was great to see you unboxing of the Husky Dog. I completely, yes, you did, Allison. Yes, I was thinking of you when I said that I have seen, I have seen it completed and holy crap, yes. Um, once again, I didn't realize it was that big. <laughs> I'm like, dang, this thing is huge. <laughs> I was like, awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, and most of you do know this. I don't care about the sizes of the painting, um, at all. That's not what I look for. I look at the picture. The biggest rainbow just showed up in front of my house. I got to take a picture. Ooh, yes. You're in bed, Silver. I know, right, Nana? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there'll be some here. All right, let's see here. Maybe I'll move this. It's the webcam. Granted, it is an arm, but it doesn't like to be stretched that far. So, all right, I think we're okay. I am going to have to scoot down a little bit. I am looking after my nephew as it is Friday and Oh, yay! That's always exciting. <laughs> I came out of nowhere. Oh, I forgot to grab a pen. Uh, what pen should I work on today? I should grab a seventh placer, it looks like. I will need that. I'll work on my pink one again. I should really get some different pens in my little stash here. Oh, I can use this one. Switch these out. I kind of like the sparkly. This fits. Yep, it fits. Sweet. Hi, Virginia. Well, welcome. Oh, I am new here, been diamond painting just over a year, but peeps, my 86-year-old dad got a note from his doctors in heart. Excuse me, his heart function improved 20 cents. Working on DAC Justice League. It's huge. Awesome. That's a great news, Virginia. Eli is good. Um, He was around here earlier, but as usual, two minutes after I hit live, he skedaddles. <laughs> Uh, luckily, well, I just came in to say to uh, everyone that I have power back on. Good luck to you guys, even the new members. Good luck. Oh, thank you, Lucky Lass. Hi, Deborah. Ooh, a double rainbow. Even better. You don't see those very often. Okay, what color should I do first? Okay, I don't see that color. Don't have that color. Okay, where's E? Here's E. We work on yellow. But yes, so most of the Midwest is 
having a really nasty blizzard. And yes, we were included in that blizzard. Um, but for the, I don't know if you want to call it lucky or not. I call it lucky. Um, we were supposed to get, um, what did they say? I think they said like three to five inches. No, 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 no. Three to eight inches of snow. We didn't get anything. Um, we got, I don't know where the snow went. I don't know. I think, um, the bubble effect hit our lovely town once again. I mean, shoot, last night I was literally looking at the radar and it said it was snowing. Look outside. <laughs> was not snowing. I'm like, what the heck? Where's all the snow? <laughs> uh, I'm like, Eli, do you see snow? And he just kind of looks at me like, whatever, mom. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure if the town totally got missed or what happened. But yeah. As far as I know, we did not get any snow. But like the east of us, holy crap, south, no, east and south of us. Wow, they're getting snow. Um, but we did get the wind. So um, the interstate were, were closed once again last night. They did not open until about 1.30 this afternoon. So, yeah, it's um, a lot of people were a little upset about that. They kept asking me if I knew when it would open. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I don't know when the interstates will open. I will know as soon as the DOT changes the website. Said we don't have a magic. They don't call us. They don't tell us. DOT is busy getting their workers out and getting the highway open. They do not call the hotels. And tell us when they're opening it. I'm sorry to say that, but no, they do not call us to tell us. So that is one of the main questions we get constantly. I'm like, if I had a psych, not a psychic, but um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but if I, oh, maybe predict, is that what I'm looking for? If I could tell people when the, thing will open. I would tell them, but mm, I cannot. I knew it would be this afternoon because the wind was supposed to die down at noon. So I'm like, it will probably be around noon, one o'clock. And sure enough, it was about 1.30 when it opened. But it always amazes me. They think hotel staff knows everything. Hmm? No, we do not. Uh, oh, I missed a bunch. Hang on. Y'all are talking. That's awesome. Oh, what did you post? Oh, the picture of the um, the rainbows. Okay, I will grab that. From March 1st, I will be working on a huge J wall painting, 230 colors. Ooh, 9 ABs and 90 by 120. It is part of Crafty Journeys Diamond Painting Mystery Exchange. So I will, I, no. So I have no idea what it is. Ooh, that's exciting, Silver. I always start with the least colors and finish my finish with my favorite colors. Oh, that's a good idea, Spheres, Mama. Usually start at 310 and finish the most of the time on 550s or ABs. That's a good idea, too. Add my third catheter up size up to 20 CMs. Okay, Linda. You guys know, too, Robert? I have a question. I bought an off-brand mystery painting to see if I like them. How do you start? Um, so is it your first painting ever? You, <laughs> Nana, you will share? No, honey. Trust me. We've got plenty of snow. Um, we have had a bad ice storm. Trees are pretty. Oh. You got the ice storm too, Deborah? E. We are meant to be getting snow in Scotland. We soon we'll see. Ooh, you live in Scotland, Allison? Ooh. Okay. Um so this must be like Virginia, are you, is it, it's got to be your first paint. So 
you've got all your beads, you got everything like that, right? Do you have them in containers yet? Like all your colors? Do you have that down yet? I'm going to be in Ireland in April. <laughs> Y'all, I can't wait. Um, so, I mean, if they came in baggies, that's fine. You can still use the baggies. That's not, I just can't stand baggies. Um, but if the kit came in baggies, you can keep the colors in those baggies. That's not a problem. Um, but usually since I work on my table, I usually do whatever is the smallest, you know, width is where I usually start. And then usually I start at that corner because then when you're diamond painting, when like when you're done with this section, you move to this section and then that way you're not, this isn't all open glue. You're just, you're, you're, your side of your hand is hitting drills. It's not hitting glue. I don't know. I don't know if that is, explains. Um, I think I explained that okay. I'm a horrible explainer on how to do this stuff. The seven inches is just for this week, hon. On top of that, we already had. Oh, I know, Nana. Trust me, honey. We've gotten snow. That's why I said we do not need any more snow. Mm -mm. We're good. But it was gone by 4 p.m. Oh, <laughs> Robert, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> but at least you finally got snow. Did your nieces like them? Like it? I bet they did. I need some more yellow. Rachel is so excited to see you. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know who's more excited, me or her. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I was looking at my itinerary for the flight system and, you know, according to the timeline and all that good stuff. But of course, it's always in the time zone that you'll be landing in. So like I leave Minneapolis at nine. Ooh, I'll just say 940 p.m. And it says. I will get into Amsterdam at 1230. Oh, an extra one. And um, I'm like, dang, that's a long flight. I'm like, wait a minute, there's a time, you know, there's a time difference in there. So I look and it's an eight hour and 20 minute flight. So I'm like, well, what time is that? My time. It is 530 in the morning. <laughs> I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> oh, man. 5.30 in the morning, and it's lunchtime in Amsterdam. I'm like, oh, that's going to be weird. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That time change is going to really hurt my hurt my system for a little bit, I think. I mean, I'll hopefully sleep okay. That's not what I'm worried about. It's the whole getting up in time to eat breakfast and stuff like that on the plane before we land. <laughs> Nope, I'll probably have them wake me up at like four. <laughs> if you should group the symbols. Group the symbols. What do you mean, Virginia? Oh, it was not enough to make a snowman? Aww. I put my finished chuck in your group. Oh, yeah, that's right. You finished the chuck this week. Oh, of course, Virginia. That's why we are all here. We're, we are all ready to help. Any questions? Just sometimes I do not explain correctly. And of course, some paintings, I totally changed my mind. <laughs> I'm like, I want to do it this way. No, that's not how it works. <gasps> Ooh, Deborah. Okay, so Deborah just finished Freedom at the Lake by Chuck Pinston, which of course is by Diamond Art Club. Oh, that's so pretty. The details in that. Okay, y'all can see this, right? 
Okay, where's my finger? So there's a bicycle. There's some ducks. I think that's a baby duck. We have more ducks. We've got a boat. But you know what my favorite part is? Those dang trees. <laughs> and you all know why. <laughs> but look at that sky. That sky is just absolutely gorgeous. Dang, he's good. He's such a good artist. Is there any else like hitting things? There's some ducks. We got plenty of ducks. And it looks like a boat with a couple, like a couple on it. And some birds in the sky. Are those mountains in the background? I think those are mountains. Just that like blue. I think. I don't know. <gasps> Holla queen! Hey girl! Where have you been? Ooh, Sherry, you're almost done. Girl, you are almost done with it. That is awesome. Ooh, there's the double rainbow. That's awesome. Most of the waters are ABs. Wait, there's a dog at the front door? <gasps> Shut up. Really? Stop it. There's a dog at the front door. <gasps> oh, there he is. Oh, he's so tiny. Is it? That's here. Is that the dog? Are you a confetti heaven or confetti hell? <laughs> Um, I like confetti, but not like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I like it all. I like the color blocking. I like the confetti. But if it was like a great, like most of the paintings that I've done are like a beautiful mixture in between both, which is why I like that. Um, but lately, there's been several paintings I have picked that have had a poop ton of color blocking and or confetti. And the wolf painting that I did for the wolf long, no, it is not finished. That one is confetti. Holy Hannah, is that one confetti. Um, but no, I do not mind. I don't mind it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Um, no, I don't. I do not mind any of it. I love all of it. And I still do. Four years later, I still love everything about diamond painting. Do I have moments that I don't diamond paint at all? Uh, yeah. I was on a big hiatus for a while, it seemed like. And the only time I diamond paint was when I went live. So, yeah, I do have great. Seriously? Hang on. Oh, great of mayhem! Oh, crap, what did I do? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, of course I answered. He's like, oh, shoot, she's live. And he hung up. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh, girl. Oh, I have missed you. Oh, group like symbols on your paint. Oh, gotcha. Um, I don't know. I just pick a random color. Deborah, what is dirty confetti? Yeah, what is dirty confetti? I love confetti. Keeps me for a guinea board. Yes, which is why I like the mixture of color blocking. Like right here, there's not a lot of colors, but there is, but there isn't. I mean, you know, because you have this and you have this, but then you have other colors. So it's not totally color blocking because um, you have more than one color. Actually, I think I've got several. Anyway, so yes, I like this. <laughs> I miss you too. <laughs> You get bored with color blocking? Yeah. There's a lot of people that do not like color blocking. And I get it. It does it gets very Yeah. 
boring, definitely. Uh huh. But sometimes I don't mind the color blocking because you don't have to think that you're putting the wrong drill on the wrong symbol. <laughs> oh, dirty confetti is an extra enormously amount. Oh, like Chuck's? <laughs> but I love Chuck's. So I've only done one. I really want to do another one. So, yeah. Oh, mayhem. How have you been, girl? Yeah, like a J-Wall? Yes. <laughs> yep. yep. J-Walls probably do have uh, a lot of confetti. I don't care for color blocking. Don't show much detail. That is true, Nana. I adore Chuck Piston was doing island life until my husband spilled all my drawers. <gasps> no. Oh, Virginia. Did I do that one? Which Chuck did I do? Mm. Maybe it was island life. No. Crap. I've done one. I loved it, and I get. I did. I um. I donated it to the animal shelter for our fundraisers the one year. So I do not have that one. I don't like. Well, I don't remember now. I'm working on my first commissions crochet piece. <gasps> nice, Halloween. Nice. That's awesome. Excuse me, unless it's darker drills, I only single place. That's totally fine. There's a lot of people out there. Excuse me, that um, single place. I used to do it. And I thought I would never multi-place. Never, never, never. And never thought I would be comfortable enough to, oh, I don't think I used a dryer sheet on this. Um, yeah, I... Oh, where's my dryer sheet? All the way over there, of course. Let's see if I can reach it. I'm going to use the tweezers. Oh, come on. Oh, got it. <laughs> um, so, yes. So, I started, well, back four years ago, um, there was only three places. Oh, I don't need a big one like this. Oh, well. Um, so yes, four years ago, they did not have two placers. The next smallest, um, placer they had was a three placer. And then I went up to a six. Um, yeah. So I tried with three. I was awful. Oh my gosh. You wouldn't think a three placer would make that much of a difference. But I just kept at it, at it, at it, added it, whatever. <laughs> whatever the heck I'm trying to say. Doing well, have you been working full time now? Ooh, I've been good at Creative Mayhem. I have. I got into cross stitching, so that took, that was a year of my life. And then I took almost a year break. <laughs> Um, and then, oh, so this painting, oh, thank you, Virginia, bless your heart. Okay, so I am working on, what's it called? Butterflies. I think it's just called butterflies. Oh, here's the whole thing. Um, it's by Diamond Opera Club. I just unboxed it yesterday. Um, it is for my mother who loves butterflies and she turned 70 in april so i am trying to complete this kit by then
Oh, you love using tweezers and squares. I have not. People that are talented, extremely talented when it comes to using tweezers and squares. Um, I know, I think two others that do it. Now I, mm, I cannot do it. I can do like sometimes two at a time, but other than that, mm -mm, I can't. Yes, I love a four placer as well. Yep, I'm not. I've just gotten used to the seven placer now. I have not gotten any higher than that because I really don't. A lot of the paintings, I don't need anything higher than a seven. Steph, do you listen to broadcast? No, I do not, Linda. No, I do not do pro. I don't know why. I just don't. Oh, thanks, fears, Mama. I know, right, ma'am? Oh, I showed my mama the Jesus painting that you did. Oh, yeah, she loves it. So once again, I bought two of those babies <laughs> because of you. Because <laughs> I wanted one and she wanted one. Um, and I have yet to touch them. But, you know, at one point, I would like to get them done. If you plan to have this done by mom's birthday, you'd best get. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm never going to get this painting done. <laughs> okay. So the next mo, um, I need the star. No, what is that? Plus sign. I need plus sign. Plus sign, plus sign. There it is. It's a peachy color. I adore it. Oh, can you, um, like, is it more than eight colors, Virginia? Because Diamond Art Club will um, replace eight colors. Oh, what the crap? Now I really screwed this up. No tweezers for me when I do the drills. Go fly. Right, exactly, Sherry. My mom is doing well. Thank you for asking. She is now. Um, she can use a cane during the day, and her, um, they still want her to use the walker at night. <laughs> I know, ma'am. <laughs> oh. I have a four metal placer. I need to replace the other one and because that is damaged. Oh, no way, Allison. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, oh well, they Halloween. I did not know that. Oh, you got quite a few, Virginia. Yeah, but Island like that one's gorgeous when it's done. I'm pretty sure that's the one that I completed because it sounds, it sounds right. But I could be so wrong. Oh, no, that is four. Yeah. No, <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that's too funny. Wait until he wakes up, goes into the shower, and feels like a bump on his leg. Now that is funny because I have I have slept with drills before and then it's like literally stuck to my skin. So when I'm showering, I feel a bump and I'm like, what the hell is that? Here it's a drill. <laughs> so, yes, drills do somehow find an amazing spot to um, land.
Yes, um, Elizabeth one is gorgeous. Oh, okay, Virginia. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your mom. I'm almost done with Aim for the Moon doing Island Life next. Nice. Mm, no, Linda, I do not like horror stories. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. I know my brother does. But no, I do not like scary movies. No. Mm -mm. Nope. I try and watch them. But if I have the remote, trust me, I am pausing it and um, changing. Um, like if it's on TV, like I will try and watch it. But nope. I changed this channel because you can always tell when something's coming up because they changed the freaking music. So um, I either mute it, change the channel, walk away, <laughs> shut the TV off. And I'm like, oh, dang it. And yeah, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Life is scary enough. I don't need to watch something scary. We're good. Hi, Sardina. Sardina. There, I think I said that right. Hey, girl, how are you? Oh, thanks so much for coming, Creative Mayhem. Oh, I'm giving you a hug back. Thank you so much. Did someone say scary movies? Yes. <laughs> oh, honey, it was great to see you. Thank you for coming. There was one that ended up between his birds. Bum cheeks. He thought it was a massive pimple. They get every. Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. oh, he dropped them all. Oh no. Oh, I'm sure he felt awful. Virginia, you might be able to contact them, explain what happened, and if nothing else, they might be able just to, and so then that way you don't have to buy the whole kit. Maybe they would be willing to sell you the drills. I don't know. It never hurts to ask them. And then whatever they can ship you, then just go, what is it, Drills USA? I think it's Drills USA. Wait, you're in Scotland. Do they ship international? <laughs> I do not know. I hope we'll, let's see. My husband and I are actually in the middle of adopting a cat. Oh, and trying to find somewhere that has them. Many places are all dogs, but we are excited. <gasps> oh, congratulations on your new kitty. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, I was wondering, I'm like, I'm hopeful, hope, yeah. <laughs> I am good, thank you, honey. Worst case, get them to replace the big ones and buy the rest. If you save your spares, you might have enough for the smaller colors. Yep, exactly, Rebecca. Silver, we have Smith Speeds in the UK. Oh, okay, well, there you go, Allison. There's a Smith's, Smith's Beads in the UK. Oh, I don't even have a marmule, mar, whatever um, tray. And I would like to get one. Um, I just for, keep on forgetting that she does them on Wednesdays. And yeah, I, 
I constantly forget. Oh, that was four, not three. So one of these days, I will have one. I just have not been lucky um, to get one yet. I do have some new trays coming. Um, I think it's NYX on Etsy. So I will try out their trays. So we're going to do that. One minute. That works. Not like I need more trays um, in this household. But since basically all I've been using is Bella for what? To what baby? Hi. Um, I mean, it's been a while, but I just love her trays. What sweet boy? Yeah, you coming to say hi? Yeah. Well, everybody would love to see you. It's been a while since some of them have seen you. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Yeah. You still use the white moth sweatshirt ones? That's fine. They work too. Um, where'd he go? Oh, he's like great. Can you see his tail? His tail's right there. <laughs> okay. They can't see you right there, honey. There. Now can you see him? Yeah, there he is. Sweet boy. Come on. Come on. It's like, what are you doing, woman? I know, Bonnie. I know. What? Hi. I haven't used, and I was thinking of this company the other day, and now that they're back in, um, are you, aww. Thanks, big boy. Thanks for the kiss. Um, is Archer's Arts? I haven't used their their trays forever, and I used to love their trays. Um, so maybe one day I'll take those out. All right. Oh, hi, <laughs> big boy. You've never done that before. No, you've never done that before. Hi. <laughs> I guess he wanted some loving. Oh, I guess he is personally coming up closer. Gonna, oh, here, hang on. Let me move this. There. Is that better? Now you can be in your chair. Black Bob with eyes, yeah. <laughs> and he always faces the other way. You never show them your beautiful face. You always have to show the back end. Right? I was trying to flip them over. That didn't work out so well. You said to go boy. No, I do not have my foster. Nope, she got adopted. Um you know, not this Wednesday, but the last Wednesday. Hey, Gail. Have you tried Firefly? I never even heard of Firefly. I like that they have a side instead of a stopper in the tray. Oh, yeah, I've got the side ones. Um, Bella's second, no, well, their first and second editions had the side tray. So, yes, you did not need a stopper for those. And I think actually you can buy their second editions. Um, I, they've got like, they just started because people have wanted their first, oops, I did the opposite way there. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, I saw on their uh, Facebook group 
that they were released. I think it was bubblegum pink and cobalt blue, um, which are two of my favorite colors um, that you can get in the a second edition of their of their trays again. Because I guess a lot of people have been asking for it. So yeah. I guess now I've just gotten so used to this type of tray. I know it won't take me very long to get used to the side tray if I ever go back. Right. Oh, that's true, Nana. I didn't think of it like that. Is that why you do that, baby? Mm -hmm. So I could rub your back. That would totally make sense, though. No, I thought you had a new foster. Nope. I haven't had a foster for a week now. I had a new foster named Stevie. I've had two fosters within the last two months. I had Pigeon and then I had Stevie. And I I had them less than three weeks apiece. Wait, I don't even think I even had Pigeon a full two weeks. I think I only had her... Nope, because I had her a week, and then I put her on Facebook. Yeah, no. Nope. I think it was only a week and a half I had Pigeon. And then Stevie, I had almost three weeks. There's one, two, yeah. Firefly is one of the sponsors of Ticket to Ride, so I ordered one. Oh, okay. I want this kid to stop growing. Well, kind of, as I want to see his next milestones, but stop growing. <laughs> Honey, we all say that to the youngsters. Always. Between my nieces and my nephews, yeah. Mm -hmm. I tell them constantly, stop growing. It never works. They just smile. And um, Asti says, Auntie, I can't help it. I'm like, I know you can't. <laughs> I know you can't. Hey okay, guys, gonna head to bed. It's 1:20 a.m. Oh, good night, Allison. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you had fun. Yes, Archer's Arts is back in business. Yes, they made an announcement not that long ago. Actually, I should put them down back on my on my order list or on my trays list. I forgot about that. But I took them off because they, you know, they were not in business anymore.
Excuse me. They pop. Is kitty fur a problem? No, not really. Because even if Eli gets like some fur, you know, on the glue or whatever, the drills hide it. So, no. Nope, I, it just looks not the greatest. Like if there is, you know, if it makes, like if there's excess glue on the side, it, it just looks dirty, but. And then half the time, like whatever you frame it with or whatever, you just cover it up. And um, nobody's going to see the back of the canvas because it's framed. So, no, I do not worry about cat hair anymore. <laughs> Very true, Spares, Mama. Yes. Hey, JJ. How are ya? Welcome back, girl. Two weeks in a row. Yeah, see, like, here's Eli's fur and here's Eli's fur. You can't see it, but I can. There's already two pieces on here, and I literally just pulled this back. <laughs> uh, I'm of two minds about the stop growing comment. I have a nephew that had childhood leukemia, and due to his treatment and the bone marrow transplant, he would never grew past about five foot. Aw, poor thing. Aw, that's okay. I'm five foot two. It's a good height. <laughs> I don't mind it. I'm good, JJ. Oh, wait. Hang on. Eli's walking away, but there he is. <laughs> I almost, almost missed him. And now I really missed him. I tightened the camera too much. There we go. Hopefully you saw a little bit of him. Oh, my head's in the way. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. There. Hopefully that hasn't been all night. One more. Okay. Nope, got a whole bunch more right here. So glad I looked. I'm expecting my nephew to be taller than six foot because his aunt, me, is six foot. Grandfather was six foot one and his dad is six four four. Ah, yes. Okay, check one more time. Nope, I think I'm good. <gasps> Yay, Crystal, that's awesome. That is very good.
You're working on Mulan? Yes, he survived. That is a very good thing. Yes. One of his brothers is 6'2 and a cousin 6'4. Oh, good golly. Yes, the one. That is awesome, my dear. Okay, as everybody likes to call it, symbol, the pregnant lady. Oh, there it is. Got a light pink. <gasps> so pretty. Sorry, foster mom texted me. Or I should say our treasurer for the company. She's just making sure I have enough toys and cat trees. Okay. Uh... Okay, I already read that, read that. Okay. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to work on after I get done with this paint. I kind of still want to work on the ones that I need to finish. It's been like... I know it's, it's still finished at February, but I have to, I want to get started on this one. I'm sorry, Crystal. But um, I think that's what I'm going to do because I want to complete some paintings. And there are so many, like I said before, that I am almost done. So I think that is what I'm going to do. It's just been bugging me that I haven't had a finish in for so long. So I think I'm still going to continue um, finishing the whips that I have started. And then that way, when I'm all done, I, you know, it's then I'm, you know, then I'm back to square one. Wait, okay, pregnant lady. That's the symbol I'm working on. So, yeah. And plus, you know, train of dreams, that one is about a little over. I'm, oh, I mean, I'm done. I'm overdone halfway so it's a little halfway done and then that wolf painting is going to take me a while because that one is so confetti i need s s s s where are you s oh there it is Oh, I'm, it's hard to get close to fit five feet. <laughs> oh, and May. Okay. Genetics can be weird. My father was six one. My mother five two. My sister just married at over five feet. Really, Rebecca? Aw. Thanks, Silver. My five foot two grandmother used to say, I'm tall enough where New York feet go to the floor. <laughs> Isn't Train of Dreams BAP? What's BAP? B A P. What's that? You can post in Martina's Year of the Whips. Oh, okay. Hey, Paula. How are you? Yeah. Well, because. Okay, so how many whips do I have? So I have that love, the nurse's painting, train of dreams. I have the lion and the lamb, the wolf painting. 
at Snow Deer. Oh, and then the Halloween one. So I have six. The um, scaredy cats, or yeah, scaredy cats, right? Yeah. So yeah, I have six paintings that are almost okay. No, five paintings that are almost complete. The wolf painting is not almost complete. Big A project. Oh, okay. I have no idea what that is. Big awesome project. If you want to be polite, yes. Oh, what happened to Boto? I'm trying to get my hands on Eden so bad as a tribute for my mother who passed away. She reminds me so much of her. And I cannot wait. I cannot find anyone willing to give her up. Oh, well, just keep looking. I'm sure someone will. My uncle Nick was six foot seven. Holy crap. That is one tall man. I would look like a small person next to him. Two weeks ago tonight, he had an allergic reaction with that word. Oh, no. I've had a really good friend who was seven, seven foot two and a half. Holy crap. So when you are done with this one, since we've had several of the same unfinished paintings, we can spread out and tell. Well, there we go. That'll work, Crystal. Just post my closet whips. <laughs> okay, I got to see this now. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, so you started on all of those, Vani? And have it finished? Wow. Yeah, you definitely could use the year of the whips. Your closet looks like my closet, but most of the ones in my closet are not even, I haven't even touched since I bought them. Wait. April, did you send me a picture of Balto? Or not yet? Nope, not yet. Okay. Excuse me. I've had to pull out mountain cats. Why? Don't pull it out. You're almost done. 
That one is so pretty. I did buy the pattern for it. So, yeah. I don't know if I will do it as a diamond painting or if I will do it as a cross stitch. I haven't I haven't decided on that. And, you know, I have plenty of time to think about it. <laughs> but I do think it's going to look gorgeous as a diamond painting. So I might do it as a diamond painting as well. Paula has Balto. Yeah, I know Paula. You are Paula. You do too, Silver? Wait. April has Hershey. I don't think I've seen... I don't think I've seen her, um, April tonight. Pull it out and start working on it. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, I don't know if I want to do it as this cross stitch. I don't want to do it like a, I don't know. I already have one heaven and earth design that I made into a diamond painting and I haven't even worked on that baby. And I already have the drills ready to go. I mean, that one's kitted up and everything already. So that is my goal this year is to work on that sucker. It's been a long time since I popped in. I know because you said Volta was sick. I'm so confused. <laughs> Lip. No, flip flops and lollipops. Love it. How are you? I am good. Modern fur embroidery cut geometric flowers. Aw, that's really pretty. That is really pretty. Oh, and there's Balto. Hi, fluffy boy. I'm being summoned for French toast. Ooh. That sounds yummy. Okay. Almost done with this color. You go in there. I haven't had French toast forever. That sounds really yummy, actually. They had to get Uncle Nick a special bed when he crashed in hospital. Oh, no. Nice silver. I had to go out into this nasty weather to get him to come in tonight. I don't know who ticked off Mother Nature, but she can take your 24 inches of... <gasps> You've gotten 24 inches of snow, Paula? Stop it. I heard that you guys were supposed to get, like, over, a, you know, 12 inches, but not that much. Wow. Okay, I need that simple. Not that simple. I need the simple
No, I know you guys did, but I didn't realize you were getting that much. <laughs> oh, Crystal, if you want some snow, honey, I will send you some snow. Actually, I'll have Paula do it because, you know, she's got more than me. Hey, Stacy, how are you? I'm in the middle of storm blessed and plain, no, and plan to do spirits starting in April. Ooh, I love spirits. Trying to decide if I want to do a Chuck Pinston in March decisions. I know, Gail, it's hard. It is really hard. I would really love to do another Chuck. Because, I mean, most trucks have animals in it, so it would still, you know, be okay to do for the year of the animals. What's going on? I am just not lining these up right. I'm good. Thank you, Stacy. What you working on? Yes, um, I was going to do the year of the wolves. So then this whole year will be just about wolves. But then there's a couple of paintings that I would really like to work on that are not wolves. And so Crystal said, well, why don't you just do the year of the wolves and that are, I mean, year of the animals. So then that way, you know, I just don't, I mean, I would love to do all wolves for one year, but you know, there's so many cute uh, pandas and sloths that I want to do, you know, that I have. So, and I don't, I don't know how to explain. I just figured, okay, that's would be great. Cause if there's a paint, cause I wanted to do this kit. Well, this kit didn't have any wolves in it. So yeah. So that's why we changed it. So I'm just doing it for fun. I'm just doing, for me, it's just the year of the wolves. No, year of the animals. <laughs> oh, oh Stacy, you are the lucky ones to get that. That's awesome. Hi, Emma. I'm working on mystery kit number six fantasy. Ooh, nice. Let's see how much diamond painting I get done because starting in March, my hours are going up for work. Uh oh. So yeah, going from 79 hours a month to 85. Work, work, work out the, holy crap. Hold up, you're already working 79 hours a week? Dang. Oh, no. 
I love my job, but mm, that's a lot of hours to be that nice to people. I mean, I could probably do it for a little bit, but mm, no. Okay, so this is not going to be, it just popped back into my head while I was thinking of being nice to people. So I just, I had a really nasty phone call today. Oh, I know, Emma. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, no. I know. I'm going to get it. And it will be mine. I will start hashtagging that. <laughs> okay, Yvonne. I haven't even done the hashtag at all, but go for it, girl. Um, so today, this afternoon, right when, you know, my three o'clock person came in, we were just chit chatting. I got a phone call and, um, we have a big, um, cattle show. It always happens the second week in March and it is huge. Um, it's called the winter show. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, but anyway, um, we get, I mean, we're booked, I mean, constantly. Um, most people know um, that if you do not have a room by middle of February, even sometimes beginning of February, you will not find a room. Okay. So I'm just, you know, and we only have three hotels in town. So, um, and especially on Saturday. Um, so I had a caller. I, I'm pretty sure it was a female, but I'm not 100% sure because, you know, there are some females who have a very deep voice. Anyway, she calls and um, you're the animals 23. Oh, there we go. That'll work. It was 87 degrees in Jacksonville. Oh, my God. Anyway, um. So I answered, you know, my usual spiel and, and, um, I'll just say a she, cause I'm pretty sure it was a she. She's like, yeah, you have anything available March 11th, which is that Saturday. And I said, well, as far as I know, we don't, but let me take a gander. So I looked it up and I said, nope. I said, no, we do not. And she just hung up the phone. She just clicked. I'm like, really? I mean, I just, it just bugs me. It really bugged the crap out of me. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm sorry that I am full, but it is almost March. Winter show is almost only two weeks away. And I'm like, do, I don't know how old she was. I don't know anything about this lady except for that. But seriously, you couldn't take another five seconds out of your life to say, okay, sorry. You know, or, okay, thank you for letting me know. Or, I mean, whatever. Do people not, like, have phone etiquette anymore because everybody's so used to texting that people don't, I mean, I just, I just, it just bugged the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm, you know, just take five seconds out of your day and say, say something nice. Or, you know, just say, thank you for looking that up for me. Or most people will ask me if we have a waiting list. And do we usually do have a waiting list. But at this time, we do not. So she would be the first name on the wait list in case somebody cancels. And then we would call her and let her know that we had an opening. You know, take another 10 seconds to ask more questions instead of just clicking off the phone. It's just, you know, and normally things don't get to me, but Jesus. <laughs> like good lord but anyway yeah so frustration over but not really it's just ugh. 
like I'm not a robot. I am a human. I have a brain. I have feelings and everything else that goes along with it. So have a little bit more. And I'm sure, Rebecca, you've heard it all too, but still, good Jesus. Especially when I'm doing the favor and looking it up. But it's all good. I still love my job. <laughs> well, Pac, what about Chuck Along in same way or June? Um, there is a Chuck Along, um, Mindy and Mar um Oh my goodness, her name just bloop. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Um, they do a chuck along in March? Or is it later than that? They do two a year. I can't remember. I know one's in the spring and one's in the fall. We had children out on the streets with ice skates today. Oh, my goodness. Really, Rebecca? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. Oh, like I said, Rebecca, I'm sure you have had way worse. I know you have. They have long toes. <laughs> Wolfpack, do you have DAC's floss puzzle? Yes, I do, Virginia. Most chucks do. Well, the ones I have, Rebecca, have animals in them. Thank you, Bonnie. Yes, Martiza. Um, Martiza, no. That's not how you say her name. Yes, her. Sometimes people think they are entitled for everyone to jump hoops for them when it doesn't go up their way. Chuck a fit or hang up. I know, right? Martiza. March and September. Thank you, Bonnie. March 1st. Okay, thank you all. Yeah, I knew it was coming up. But yeah, and don't get me wrong, I've had worse phone calls too. But for the, you know, one minute phone call that it was, it was just, yeah. It was just frustrating. That was all. So I get what I'm, what I'm trying to say is I hope if everybody's listening that you take, you know, a little bit time and gentleness on when other people are answering a phone call or you're on the phone with somebody. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I know we all leave Lee, lead, leave, live, live. I don't know. We all think we have busy lives, and most of us do, but just take, you know, a little bit of time and be nice and courteous. As my mom and everybody else's mom has ever said, Be nice to another one another because you never know how that person's day is going. And sometimes all it takes is a smile. To brighten up somebody's day. Oh, Jesus, Rebecca. Exactly. It costs nothing to be kind. Yeah, long toes because you say something wrong and you step on those toes and they get offended. Oh, yep. Take into consideration that everyone has time to be nice and use their manners and treat others how you want to be treated. Exactly, Stacy. Yep. Exactly.
I try to be kind to everyone. Yep, me too, Stacy. Yep. I mean, it was hammered. I mean, most of us, it was hammered into our brain to always be nice to everybody. Or, you know, um, uh, treat people how you would want to be treated. Hi, baby. Coming to say hi again. Mm -hmm. What? Yes. Hi, Cindy. How are you? I saw the team the other day, not looking happy, turned around, went back to them and asked if she was okay. I could tell that she appreciated me coming over to check on her. Oh, see, and that what took like what? A minute for you to, you know, hey, Brian, you know, a minute out of your time to question someone, you know. Oh, hi, sweet boy. Oop, you are sliding in on the plastic. <laughs> hi, sweet boy. What you doing? Yeah, this plastic is really slippery. Oh, isn't it? Ooh, you are sliding all over the place. Hi, sweet boy. My sweet boy. Hi. I says. What they say? Well, you just hurry up. You're taking too long. And I said, oh, excuse me. She's not taking that long. She can take as long as she wants. She doesn't need people rushing like exactly. Oy. I love the conversation. <laughs> that was very nice of you, Sophia's mama. Yes, this is how most of us were raised. But this new generation of people's managed and Christian, I know. No, I know it's it's sad because the, all their life they've been looking at a screen all their life. They don't look at their, you know, hey, not not everybody. But if you look in a restaurant, if you ever sit down in a restaurant, I bet you almost every single table will have one or the whole party on their phones. Really? That's not why you're at a restaurant. You know, you're there to sit down, have a nice meal with the people that you're with, not to be on your phones. You can do that at home. You know, I make it a point anytime I went when I'm with dinner or with my family or whatever. My phone, at least in a restaurant, is in my purse. I never take it out. Um, because I am there to be with them. Um, granted, I don't see them you know, every day like I used to or, you know, weekly or whatever. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just think, and still to this day, right now, I mean, I was with one of my bowling teammates and we were at a restaurant. Guess where my phone was? In my purse. And this sweet little cute couple, well, not sweet because I don't know who they were. They came in the restaurant. As soon as they came on, no, I <laughs> They came on. As soon as they walked in, they sat down, ordered, and guess what they were doing? They both put out their, they both took out their phones and were looking at their phones. I'm like, you have nothing to talk about at all? Your phone is more important than the person right next to you? Really? No. If you read writing, every generation finds the ones that it means after them to be rude and entitled, right? So I don't know. It's yeah, oh, yeah. So their whole life they've been looking at a screen. That's all they can relate to. I don't know. I think nowadays I think kids and I think maybe the new I don't know, maybe not the new parents, but I think some parents are realizing that they shouldn't be on their screens all the time. And I hope some parents are using that, you know, um, no screen time or no games or whatever. 
I did I because I know my nephew's my nephew was upset um, because he couldn't he couldn't have screen time until he got done with with his homework. And I'm like, well, yeah, get your homework done, and then you can be on your you know your game system or whatever you want to be on. But your dad is you know he's right. I guess it just makes me sad that people think everything, their phone is worth more than a dinner conversation. I am working on butterflies from Diamond Art Club. Oh, and that's fine, Severe's mama. I, I absolutely. Oh, she, she could be Holly Queen slash Rebecca. <laughs> Shoot, I'm gonna pop. Two thirty. You am, you're what, Catherine? I have a steadfast rule in my home. If you come to visit, you best have left your phone, your cell phone in your car or shut it off in your pocket. You come to visit, not ignore us and be on your phone. Right, Nana? Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. That is done. Oh, I'm glad it works because, yeah, that needs to be more. I think every household should have that. Oh, a color nap. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, I need that color, which is a light pink. Ooh, pink. Well, and half the time, if I'm on my phone, if I don't have my Kindle with me, I'm most likely reading. Oh. So, yeah, just because I'm on my phone doesn't mean I'm, like, scrolling TikTok or scrolling Facebook or whatever. Although, half the time, I bring my Kindle with me.
everywhere I go. Doesn't mean I'll, you know, bring it out, but you just never know. Hang on, work question. If I'm at someone's house, I will not have my phone there out during the meal. I might do something small with it if it gets too loud. Yeah, well, those instances are different spheres, Mama. Oh, okay. Um, I'll call him in here in a bit. He said, I don't think he said it was an emergency. Oh. We need to eat together and talk to each other. We found each other later in life and we don't want to miss a thing. Oh, that's awesome, Virginia. I don't rock, but I do move my leg up and down. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Um, I'm going to call work real quick. He's got a quick question. So hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Welcome to Elevator Music Time where you make up your own music. I know, I'm sorry. That would be kind of cool, like if I, you know, if there would be something, something like that. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Instead of just the dead silence. <laughs> There's still silence. I'm sorry. I'm just, 
I am just working. <laughs> I think now I've run out of stories. I got nothing. Oh, no, I remember to take up, up you. Absolutely. That'd be good. I have sold over 20 paintings on some. D Ooh, nice, Fonny. That's okay, Steph. Just means you have to stay on a little bit longer to make up for the. Yeah, right. Uh, good night, Silver. Thank you so much for coming, honey. Oh, I will probably end the live once I am done with this section. Because I just have this one color. So I'll still be in for a little bit. I think I'm going to de-stash some of my DPs. Oh, okay. I know there's a de-stash. What is it? Stash your DP? Or no, what is it? What is that Facebook group? De-stash your stash, I think. And there is that what that Facebook group. Oh, that's awesome, Spears Mama. I'm glad she's back up to her normal self. Usually it's a good 24 hours. Well, it seems late for the fosters anyway. Right, baby. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Safira's mama. There are many. Oh, DP groups? Oh, yeah. That is very true, Rebecca. There is a lot of confetti on my current piece. I am stopping for now another couple of hours tomorrow. There you go. Oh, I'm glad you're happy. That is all the, that is the joy. I know shipping stuff is just ridiculous. Like the other day we had a gal that forgot her nightgown at work. So we thought we, you know, cause she would like it. Okay. No big deal. We shipped it. We put it in, in a, in an envelope, just a basic envelope. I figured maybe it would be about three bucks. Nope. It was six some dollars because they had to label it as a package because of how bulky it was. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? That is so stupid. I said, yeah, it's bulky because it's a nightgown. <laughs> but oh, it was just nuts. But 
I do know if we put it in a box, it'd be a lot more than that. The animals have cost us nearly two arms and two legs with what we've had to do with them. Aww. I'm sorry to hear that, Spears Mama. Hi, Danielle. How are you? I am good, thank you. Oops, that was two, not one. There we go. And I watched someone else's pack for shipping. It was only letter mail if it fits through a slot when measured. Yeah. I did ship a package just to a friend in the UK. It was $75. It was a small package, too. Not complaining. She deserves all the gifts. But, yep. It, it, oh. Yeah. 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 I know I used to send Rachel some stuff every once in a while. And it was just like, I wonder how much all that stuff would be right now if I sent. You know what I mean? If I sent it now, how much the price would be. Goes off and throwing up Noah. She was having regular times when she was. Turns out she had inflammatory bowel disease with food intolerance. Oh, okay. So she is on a chicken diet with special chicken kibble. Cool. I crash the evil twin brother. Hey, Koala Crafts. How are you two? And two. There we go. 
Ooh, that one drill has a hole in it. Kaylin just cut herself falling from her new bunk bed. Oh no! That's not good. She all right besides that? Was the plus sign. That's right there. Just need one. There we go. All right. One section done. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Looks like a whole bunch of blobs, right? <laughs> but look at that sparkle on that sucker. All right, one down. I don't know how many to go. <laughs> oh. there it is. All right, but that is all for tonight. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. I hope you had a blast. Eli, you want to say goodbye? It's right here. Oh, you guys can see him. You want to say goodbye? Were you sleeping? Were you sleeping that hard? Yeah. She's got a bandit on it and is putting some ice on it to make. Aw, that's good. But it's my fault I haven't touched the ladder. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, she's my kid hitting her head, wouldn't do anything. Oh, geez. Um, this one, this one I got from Diamond Art Club. I don't know if they have this one still there, but I don't remember what, what it was. It's just a pink pen with some confetti inside of it. I know it's Diamond Art Club. I think it was their second set of, um, pens that they got. Oh, thanks all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell Caitlin to be more careful. But all right, everybody, thank you so much for coming tonight. I hope you all had fun. Did you have fun, baby? Besides sleeping? Yeah. I think Eli had fun, too. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so for much for coming. I take care. Have a great week. And hopefully I will have another unboxing for you guys next week. I know I've said this before. It is my goal to at least get one unboxing a week. I need to get back into the swing of unboxing again. So, yes. Oh, you leaving me? Ooh, look at all the fur. But yeah, don't please don't hit forget to hit that like button on your way out the door if you are new to my channel. Hello. Please don't hit to forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell be notified when I'll have some more unboxings and when I'll be live, which is Thursday evening at 6.30 Central Time until typically around 8, 8.30. Um, that is my new time schedule. But yes, I hope you all have a great week, great weekend, and until next time.